If you love banana bread, you are going to love today's recipe. I've given this classic quick bread a gluten-free makeover by using whole grain oat flour, and it tastes just as good as the kind you'd pick up at a coffee shop. What I love about oat flour is that it's super affordable, it's nut-free, and it's easy to make at home. To get started, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You'll want to start with three bananas that are very ripe with lots of brown spots on their skin. The riper the bananas are, the sweeter they will be. I like to use a fork to mash them on a plate until they are relatively smooth. This usually turns out to be one and a quarter cups of mashed banana or at least 315 grams by weight, but it's okay if it's a little more than that too. Go ahead and add that to a large mixing bowl. Next, you'll need one and three quarters of a cup of oat flour. I measure my oat flour by scooping it into the container and swiping the excess off the top. This gives you a more densely packed measuring cup, so that's why I also provide the weight in the printable recipe if you'd rather go by that. Add in three large eggs, one cup of coconut sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of vanilla, a quarter cup of olive oil, or you can use coconut oil or melted butter, and a half teaspoon of salt. Stir that together until the batter looks relatively smooth. Prepare a nine by five inch loaf pan by lightly spraying it with oil. Then press a piece of parchment paper into the bottom. This will ensure that the bread will release easily from the pan later. Now it's time to add in the batter. Bake at 350 degrees for 45 minutes or until the loaf puffs up and starts to crack in the center. Let the bread cool completely in the pan because the texture is best when it comes to room temperature. As you can see, this bread turns out perfectly even without using traditional white flour or sugar. This oat flour banana bread will keep well in the fridge for up to five days, but I doubt it will last that long because it's so delicious. If you'd like to grab the printable recipe to save for later, you can find it over on my website, detoxinista.com. If you enjoyed watching this video, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up and check out my other videos here for more delicious real food recipes.